everybody. Glad you're with us. The show has an NL East matchup. The Atlanta Braves and the Washington Nationals. Alongside Chris Singleton, I'm John Chambi. Well, Singy, when you consider the top hitters ballparks in the sport, this has got to be one of them. I'll say this. Pitchers have to stay with their game. They can't look over their shoulder and think, I have to be fine and perfect on every pitch. Continue to pitch to your strengths, and you'll come out of here with a good outing. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about to get started, getting the nod in this one, Kate Cavalli. A really good outing for him last time. Scattered two runs, was attacking hitters, getting ahead in the count. Great performance. We'll see if he can do it again in this one. All right, Atlanta. ready to get underway. Now in for the Braves, Michael, Michael Harris. Harris. Payoff pitch. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. Well, a breaking ball in that 3-2 count kind of tells you that Atlanta. that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Tim Just couldn't find the strike Anderson. zone. Here's Tim Anderson. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. Righty to the plate. Got it by him for the K. Well, that's a curveball that people like to describe as a hammer or Uncle Charlie. You can see why. It's not a looping slow curve. First offering. Runner goes. Pitch in for a strike. Throw is low, and he can't pick it. Well, a nice lead and a nice steal there to get into scoring position with the heart of the order at the plate. That might just lead them to pitching around these hitters a little more because of the open base, but it's early in this oh, ball game. Can't imagine it'll change the attack plan too much. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Swing and a miss. Struck him out, and there's two away. Here's Marcelo Zuna. Homered in the ball game yesterday afternoon. Oh. Next offering is down Good low, ball. and it's two and one. Ripped to third, but handled, and that'll end the inning. Braves strand one, and now the Nats get their first opportunity. There's no score. Major League Baseball is on the show. Welcome back. So here's the lefty, Eric Lauer. How about a scouting report on him? Yeah, ZRA last year was a little worse than average, so definitely be looking for better results this season. You know, one of the keys is just being able to have a consistent delivery and to be able to repeat that delivery so you can hit the spots that you want to hit and have a higher chance of being successful. Leading we go to the bottom of the first, Washington. and it's Michael That's Chavis shot. at the plate. Michael. Chavis. And now the lefty. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. Threw that fastball right by him. Slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. And he dodges that fastball. The next pitch misses three and two now. The idea was right, looking to locate that fastball up and in. He just missed his spot a little bit. Swing and a high fly ball in the air, left field. That's back and out of here. A shot to left. Third home run of the season. It's one nothing. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spit on some other pitches in this at bat. Was very patient and it paid off. Here's C.J. Abrams to hit. That one fouled off two and two. With the big bats coming up and a home run already surrendered, he's really going to have to execute against these next couple of batters. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. No, oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base paths, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your yeah. infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. Chopper to second. Wade. Gets it to first, and they get Otani for the out. Here's Dave Martinez lineup for the Nationals. 
One guy leading the way offensively for this club right now, Reese Hoskins. And you got to like this matchup for him as a guy who hits left-handed pitchers as well as anyone, it seems. I mean, he's hitting over 300 against Southpaws this season. He's got a good shot to make a big impact against the left-hander on the hill today. And the batter now is Reese Hoskins. Next pitch misses outside. Now two and two. Shoots a line drive single into right center, and that keeps the inning going. Everything came together for him. Got that a fastball, middle of the plate, the jumped all baseman. over it. Absolutely Direct smoked down. that ball. Rope ball. So two down. Now batting Jerickson Profar. Looking to rebound today. He was 0 for 4 last night. And that one in the air center field. Harris has a beat on it. And that's the third out. Nats on the board first, courtesy of this solo homer. It's now a one-nothing ball game. You're dialed into the show. Back here at the ballpark, leading off, Sean Murphy. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. And that's a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. And here is Michael Conforto. Here comes a pitch. Conforto lifts one in the air, right field. That one's got a chance. Hauls it in on the warning track. Man, I love that route. The ball was smoked. He knew he had to get back to the track right away. Turned his back on the infield. Got to the spot, turned around, and made a nice catch. So now one and two. Next pitch misses, and the count is even, two and two. That's down and in. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And there's ball four. So here we go again with the walks. It's been a real struggle fighting the zone for him in the past. Now, even if they get out of this jam, these walks add pressure and stress to the entire team. Abrams puts the squeeze on that one, and there are two outs. So first and second with two outs. Now batting Jordan Luplo. Swing and a miss struck him out. He's in a tough spot, had to make a great pitch, did it, got the strikeout, gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. And welcome back. We head to the bottom of the second, and now up for Washington, Lane Thomas. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. And a base hit right there. Off to a good start with a leadoff nod. Batting seven, the left fielder. And Victor. now it's Victor Robles up Robles. to him. He's really working that inside corner with the cutter. I tell you what, I hated that pitch. So tough to get the barrel to and to keep it fair. Oh, Next that? offering misses, two and two. Thomas aboard here at first with nobody out. Caught him looking for the K. Well, I can't argue with that one, and clearly he was looking for something else, anything but the breaking ball. It's a great pitch to hit right there if you're looking for it and kind of a gift at a two strike count but sometimes you just get fooled and you got to tip your cap and it's even up Let's go, 
The pitch. Goes down looking. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of this stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back-to-back -back strikeouts, so they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. That misses. Three balls and a strike. And he walked him. Not what he wanted to do right there, Boog. That keeps this inning alive, puts a runner in the scoring no position, and a chance for this offense to add on to their lead. So the batting order turns over, and Michael Chavis will get a chance to hit. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. Next offering is in for a strike. That one drifts inside. He goes down looking. So the Nats leave a pair, but they're on top, one nothing. Back in Washington, D.C., out of the third inning, here's a speed threat, Michael Harris. The 1-1. One, one. And now the count 1-2 one and two after the swing and the miss. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Righty delivers. Gets a piece and stays alive. The pitch. And that's the strikeout looking. Not sure about that call. Pitcher might have gotten a friendly strike three. No, you know that's got to be very frustrating for this guy. He knows the strike zone extremely well. And you know what? Good hitters are not going to compromise. He'll take that punch out, but ultimately stick with his plan and have more success than anything else. And now Tim Anderson. And now two balls and a strike. And a foul ball left side. Battling here as he fouls it away. 2-2 two -two now. That one just misses. And that's a pitch early in this game. He needs called for a strike. Struggling with command issues. He's got to get a little help from the umpire. Struck him out looking. Tasked with one, two, and three to start this inning, but no trouble so far. I'm sure he'd love to strike out the side here. Make a little statement, but you've got to be composed in this spot. Focus on getting this next guy. you got two good outs. Want to get the third one and avoid the middle of that lineup coming up with a base runner. Could become dangerous. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The 2-2. Misses just off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. Out to short. And he'll be safe at first. And it's going to wind up out of play. Riley stands at second with two gone. Pitch misses. Two balls and a strike. The two on is high. I almost feel like he's frustrated a little bit. He wants to be challenged. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. The battle. The catcher. Murphy. Here's Sean Murphy. One for one with a single so far. So both runners should be on the move here on the full count pitch. Yeah, this is a good chance to tie up this ball game. See if he can find some open grass in the outfield. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. 3-2 down. Out to short, Chavis. Slings it across, third out. So they strand a pair. We head down to the home half of inning number three. As we go 
to the last of the third. Here's the center fielder, C.J. Abrams. That one lifted to left, Conforto under it, and there's one down. Now batting, the designated hitter. Here's Shohei Otani, rolled out to second in his first at bat. And he deals. Up the middle. And they get Otani for the out. The first baseman, number 19, Reese Hoskins. And it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. And he's already singled in this game. 2-2. Two -two. That one missing inside. And the pitch. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Boog, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Kicks and deals. Ball, that got right. There's a swing and a miss. Two balls, two strikes. Let's go, Nats. A rope into right, and that's a base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Couldn't have timed it up now any bad. better than that. Right Textbook bat control right. right there. Got a pitch on the outside, on, saw it deep into the zone, and just barreled it up, went the other way for the knock. Here's Lane Thomas. At the belt and fires. Swing and a ball ripped out towards right center field. That'll touch down for a hit. Runner from second crosses the play. It's 2-0. Really nice job of two-strike hitting in that at bat. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Timeout asked for and give it at the plate now. And now it's one and two. Runners on the move. Next offering is foul back. Struck him out of the foul tip. So one run in the inning on this base hit. And it's two zip. It's major. Start of the fourth. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Michael Conforto. Got him swinging. And now it's Travis Darno with the play. He reached out a walk his first time. They say it went. <laughs> that misses the zone. Three and two now. Out to short, Chavis. Low throw, and he hey. can't pick it. One down. Batter now batting down. Tyler Wade. Over one so far. Tyler Wade. Tarno over at first with one away. Swing and a miss. It's two and two. Stays alive. Popped up left side. Chavis settles under it. Two away. And next for Atlanta, Jordan Luplo. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. This one popped up. Robles under it. 
And makes the play, and that's out number three. One left for Atlanta. They're still down. It's two zip. Bottom of the fourth. Up now for Washington, Jake Alou. In there. And so now one and two. Activity in the bullpen. Ian Anderson getting ready to come in for manager Brian Snicker. Left hand batter waits. And now two and two. Ripped to third and caught. Well, baseball can be cruel, can it? I mean, sometimes it gives and sometimes it now takes bad. away. He did everything right on that swing, but he's, he's got right nothing out. to show for it. He Next to hit for the Nats, Israel Pineda. Worked to walk at his first trip to the plate. The 1-1. One -one. That's a strike across the top of the zone. Now he breaks his bat. Fires over to Darno. Already two gone here in the home four. Got to feel pretty good for the pitcher. Absolutely sawed him off. Bat explodes. And then he makes an easy play on it. Pretty satisfying if you're out there on the ball. Here's Chavis now. And one and two. to left base hit and that keeps the inning alive the center fielder number five so Singy yeah. let's dive into the numbers courtesy Bro. of StatCast do you even feel contact being made when you hit a ball that hard no I don't think so Boog I mean that's just the best feeling in the world as a hitter you square it up perfectly and it's like you didn't even swing the bat and there are times the ball feels heavy off your bat. You know it, but this is not one of those cases. He sent this one flying 114 miles per hour, so that's flexing your muscles a little bit. Mitch Count's getting up there now, and not saying that's the reason for this walk, but this is the point in the game when every sign of wavering starts to get everyone's attention. If he can get through this one, put up a zero, this will help in his outings to come. Smash to the left side. To second, there's Wade out with room to spare. And that new inning getting started. And stepping in is the speedy Michael Harris. Hit hard, base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. And now the shortstop, Tim Anderson. Hit in the air, right field. Thomas under it, and there's one down. Oh, the throw is over his head. Here's Austin Riley. The 1-1. Right side. Thomas makes the play, and there's two down. Marcelo Zuna next up for the Braves he's 0 for 1 swings and misses it's a ball and two strikes that one ripped that's back there that one is gone when a guy's got a real hard fastball you can't over swing all you've got to do is get the bat head to the spot if you do he supplies the power and you'll get to jog around the bases like he did right there oh that hit him and it finds its way through for a hit so a two out knock keeps the inning alive the batter will be michael conforto and yeah, the right hander deals Aye. murphy leads off first with two down to the inning that misses off the outside edge Swing and a miss, and that is that. Braves pick up two on the long ball. 2-2 game. Back after.
Back now to start the bottom of the fifth and taking over on the mound, Ian Anderson. Well, they didn't get much length out of their starter in this one, so they've got a lot of outs to eat up in that bullpen. I think they'll look for some length out of him right here if they can get it. Darnell throws to first in time. And that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. Jerickson Profar digging in for the Nationals. One for two. The wind of the pitch. Upstairs. And downstairs. One down, base is empty. Rip to first, caught. Yikes, that ball was scorched, an absolute no missile, and it almost becomes self defense as the fielder when one of those things comes screaming towards you. Watch your lips. Now, before the 1 1, time is called. Line drive, and that's a base hitter to right. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Here's Victor Robles. Payoff pitch. Left field. Conforto settles underneath it and puts the squeeze on that one. And the inning is over. So one left for Washington. Score remains deadlocked at 2 2. Back here in Nationals Park. Start of the six, John Chomby with Chris Singleton. And leading off, Travis Dardo. And that one ripped to left. One down. Now in for the Braves, Tyler Wade. On the mound now, Tanner Rainey. He's being eased into the game here with the bases empty. And now it's even up. This one smoked out to left. Makes the grab, and there's two gone. Now batting, right fielder, Jordan. Jordan Luplo, next up for the Braves. Two-two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And good work there. Back here at the ballpark. Bottom of the six. And now up for Washington. Jake Alou. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Israel Pineda digging in for the Nationals. On the ground. Dives and he can't hang on. He doesn't have a play and he reaches safely. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you've got to make them pay. And now it's Michael Chavis. He's already homered in this game. Ball to strike, the pitch. Hey. Swing and it's popped straight up. Murphy makes the catch for the second out. Going to have to have a little more discipline in future at bats. That pitch looked good, but you can't hit it. It was just too high in the zone. You usually see a swing and miss or a weak contact in the infield. C.J. Abrams digging in for the Nationals. And a pitch. Falling behind two and one. Pineda off of first with two away. Ripped to third, but handled 
And that'll end the inning. Nationals leave one. And this game is still tied at two and two. Welcome back. We go to the top of the seventh. Now the leadoff spot for the Braves, Michael Harris. You know, these Braves finding ways to get on base, but they still need help driving them home. They've had their chances with runners in scoring position, but this looks like extra bases. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. In safely with a leadoff double. Go-ahead runs in scoring position. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at-bat after being down in the count. Up against it with two strikes right there. I could watch base hits like that. Strike three. Got him swinging. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout, and there's one away. Austin Riley next up for the Braves. This one popped up right side. Tries to make the play, but it's foul. One out. The go-ahead run is at second. Next offering popped in the air, right field. Thomas pulls it down, and they're two away. Now that the designated hitter. And next is the designated hitter, Marcelo Zuna. He's already homered here in this one. Man on second, two down. Nope. Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. Next offering upstairs. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know. This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. And that one is gone. A two-run blast. He's done it again. His second homer of the game. It's 4-2. That's his third straight game with a homer, Singy. This dude is on fire, Boom. These kinds of streaks just don't come around too often. On to pitch now for the Nationals, Andres Machado. He last pitched two days ago. So here's Murphy now. That one hit to right. Thomas moving under this one. And he makes the catch. That is the inning. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. It's now 4-2. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. We're back in a new picture here to start the bottom of the seventh. Dylan Lee. These are the spots relievers really make a name for themselves. Late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Shohei Otani up to the dish. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. The lefty ready, and a 1-1. There's a swing and a drive. And that one's gone! He blasts one out to right, and they cut into the lead. It's 4-3. Just relentless. This team will not quit. Now at the plate. The pitch. And that one missing low. to third rolls across the diamond and that's the first out nice recovery after giving up the homer Jerkson Profar digging in for the Nationals a switch hitter batting right the tying run at the plate strike two Here it comes. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two.
the pitch. Mm. Just misses there. Lane Thomas up next. Three two now. Out there to center. Harris has a beat on it. Out number two. Now that right fielder. New pitcher now, Joe Jimenez. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect the tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Lane Thomas digging in for the Nationals. No matter what, when you're playing this kind of rival, take your game to another level. In the air, center field. Harris has a beat on it. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. But not before they're able to draw closer with this blast. It's now a 4-3 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively. And welcome back. Michael Conforto will climb in. Pitch misses inside. Now two balls and a strike. And he hits a ground ball right side. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. Now batting the first baseman, Travis. And here's the first Darno. baseman, Travis Darno. Oh, and the zone doesn't get the call. Two balls and a strike. This one in the air, center field. Abrams moving back for this one. He makes the grab, and there's two down. The batter number nine, second base. So now to the plate for Atlanta, Tyler Wade. On the ground to first. Hoskins steps on the bag, and that is that. Down in order. Now we see Rysel Iglesias out of the bullpen. He's pitching on two days rest. For Atlanta, number 26, Rysel Iglesias. Up now for Washington, Victor Robles. This is a guy you got to keep an eye on when he digs in. Definitely been known to drop a drag bunt from time to time, and he's pretty good at it, Chris. Yeah, and he creates a, a sense of urgency for the defense because of the speed, because of the ability to put down that ball. Bounced up the middle. Wait. Jump throw. Awesome play there. First of all, that's just a nice job to even get to that ball. And then even more impressive was the throw. Off balance. Had to try to end the air, get his shoulders turned, and make a strong throw. Does show off the strength of the arm. We're usually used to seeing that kind of arm strength from the shortstop. The Braves bullpen has some activity. A.J. Minter getting ready to come in for manager Brian Snitker. 3-1 now. Here's a strike. We got full count. Base hit! So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Next to hit, Israel Pineda. And now two and one. Alou leads off first with one away. Clips the corner. Two and two now. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Trying to stay out of a double play here.
And it's filled up. So here we go. Base runner at first could be running on the pitch. He's got good enough speed to steal the bag to get in scoring position, even if it's a swing and miss at the plate. Right-hander kicks, deals. Sharp grounder. That's through for base hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. Well, that at bat had a lot of pressure riding on it, so really great job coming through right there. It's got to feel good. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way, and it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box. Got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. And now a crucial opportunity to tie up this game with another base hit. That one's in there. Now three and two. And boy, that was the pitch. 3-1, you want to be really aggressive on the fastball. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Now so out of the pen well, comes the right-hander, Nick Anderson. Good. He's making his second Abram. appearance of the season. C.J. Abrams getting ready to hit. Anderson ready to work. Next offering misses down and away. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. That just misses. And now three balls and a strike. Shohei Otani would be next if they can extend the inning. And he's homered already, so I'm sure he'd love a chance to do some more damage here. And the righty deals. And they're all loaded up. Well, the stage has been set for this offense, Bull. It's all about creating opportunities, and this is one of them right here. Shohei Otani digging in for the Nationals. Got to be careful with a slugger like this because he can turn it into a three-run game in the blink of an eye. Ground ball up the middle. Oh, nice play. They get the out, and that'll do it. Making it look easy at the keystone position. Definitely worth another look. They'll get some high... We go to the ninth. Now it's the right fielder, Jordan Luplo. Jordan Luplo. The wind and the pitch. Fouls it back with two strikes. Right-handed reliever. Got him. And now one away. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Rip to short, snagged on a bounce. Fires across the diamond. Two quick outs here in the top of the ninth. Running out of chances to pad the lead. And next for Atlanta, Tim Anderson. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Swing and a miss. And the count is one and two. Off the outside edge. And now the count is two and two. Line to second, snagged on the bounce. The throw to first, and it's a 1-2-3 inning. Three up, three down that time. <laughs> on to the bottom of inning number nine. Four, five, six, coming up. It's the Braves four and the Nationals three. They turn things over to the southpaw, A.J. Minter. I think closer has to be one of the toughest jobs in baseball. And we see a pretty high turnover rate because of it. Every outing seems to be high pressure, this one included. We'll see if he can wrap up the win and get himself a save. And a pitch. And now two balls and a strike. One misses and the closer in danger of walking the tying run. In for a strike. Now it's three and two. The 3-2. 
three two is off the outside edge and that is ball four. Second walk of the game for him and he's been really patient at the play the game plan that he's sticking to he's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. Next pitch is outside. Kicks and fires. On well, this count, runner not known for his speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here, Boop. And a pitch. That's a strike. Just amazing to me how many closers and back-end relievers just throw absolute gas these days. I never would have had a chance. One run game, bottom nine. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Tying run at first, the winning run at the plate. Swing and a ball popped up. Wade pulls it in on the run. Now and now the right fielder, Lane Thomas. Three and two. Payoff pitch. The three two is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Walks out of the bullpen can absolutely kill your momentum very quickly there in some hot water trying to protect this lead. Victor Robles will hit next. Oh, how he'd love to walk it off right here. Big spot. Tying and winning runs aboard with one down. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, at that velocity, if that's all you're seeing, 88, you can handle that all day long. That's what you get in batting practice. But off the velocity of the fastball, that is a very tough pitch to adjust to. Drive to short and caught. Throw not in time as he's able to get back to avoid the double play. Man, that could have been a big swing in this game. Just unlucky at a really unfortunate time right there. Now it's the second baseman, Jake Alou, trying to deliver as the hero. So Dave Martinez going with a pinch hitter here. Joey Meneses. Big at bat for him with the tying run at scoring position. Down to their final strike. High fly ball out to center field. He's got it. Ball game. And the Braves take the first three games of this four-game set. Well, all you want is a chance going to that final frame. They got some base runners, had the tying run at second, the winning run at first, just couldn't come through with the big hit. 